Now then, guys, welcome to Stras Gaming. I'm Luke. This is episode 10 of my Leicester City Let's Play on Football Manager 2018. And today, you saw what we did in the last episode. We played Man City, lost. We played Cesaro, and lost. Not good. Two losses on a row. We haven't had that for a while, I don't think. Two back-to-back -back losses. We haven't had, well, since kind of that dodgy bit of form at the beginning of the season. And I just hope it's not a dip of form. So today's episode, we're against Oxford in the FA Cup fifth round. Should be an easy win. How are Oxford doing? Where are they at the minute? I think the League Two, maybe champ. Yeah, League One even. Sorry. So yeah, League One team. We should easily win this. We might not. You know what happens. And then we're going to play the other Sarawa game. The return leg. We're at home. We're, we're a goal down on that. So we need to get in. Well... We need to win that game. And I've just realised I've just clicked. Clicked. Get straight into this match. And I've not showed you the team. So here's the team. Uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold Arnold starting. Uh, Ray is in goal. Santos, Gibson, Nick James is having a start with Ndidi, Wilshere, Martin Erdengard, uh, McCule, Jamie Vardy is getting his second start of the season and Chris Scott up front. Um, on the bench, Iniacho, Toussaint, uh, Mata, Evan Swift, Mares, Perez and Kazawa. Um Plenty of attacking options, not really any defending options on the bench. Um, so hopefully no one gets injured. We should be winning this. Let's go out there and give it a go. It's nice to see Jamie Vardy back in the squad, just because I've got injuries and I need to use him. And as well, Evan Swift has played two games in a row, maybe three now, and he's stopped scoring. So I'm just going to drop him and hopefully... He can just compose himself on the bench a little bit. He can think, oh, I've been dropped. I've not started. The, the injury to uh, Dolberg hasn't given me an automatic start. So oh, I'm on the bench. I'm going to have to work hard again. So hopefully I can bring him on in the second half and he'll just get a hat-trick for me. But Oxford are on the attack here, and I feel like they're going to grab a goal. They didn't. They headed it over. That's not good. It's not a promising start. If Oxford absolutely batters this game, there's something seriously wrong with this football manager. Because I've just realised their formation as well. They're playing like a 4-5-1. So they are going to dominate us in midfield. I just think this team I've got is a good team. It's I feel like it's the best team I've had throughout the whole of the save. But there's something still missing. I don't know what is missing. Centre backs definitely, I think, and I've said this in every episode. And when it comes to the summer, I feel like I'm going to spend a lot of money on centre backs, which is not ideal, but it's going to happen because we need them. Erdengard with the free kick, and Santos almost grabs his first goal for Leicester City. Unlucky, right? Are we getting ourselves back into this game? We're not really. They're all over his possession was. Here we go. Right, Santos again getting on it. Chris Scott. Vardy's won a penalty. And is he going to take the penalty? Jamie Vardy against Oxford. His second start of the season. And scores. <laughs> Get in. Jamie Vardy grabs himself his first goal of the season. In his last season, he is playing for us as well. He is retiring at the end of this season. And it's good to see him score the penalty. Showing Mares how it's done. I think Mahrez is sitting on the bench thinking, oh, maybe I could have scored that. No, you wouldn't have done. But McCule and Scott is having a bit of a piss-poor game, really, aren't they? 6.3 and 6.4, which is not good. I don't like Ben Gibson being on a yellow card either. Uh, right. I'm not happy with the performance. We are one nil up, but I saw my penalty. We haven't been playing that well. And I'm not... Oh, I'm kind of happy Vardy's back into the team. Hmm. Right, Wilshere. It's Martin Erdengard. To McCule. Can't get his pass off. Wilshere can, though. To Scott. To Scott. Has a shot. No, and Scott then is then on the rebound. Now, that was a good goal for Chris Scott. His first shot was a good shot. Keeper saved it, powered it out. And then their defenders weren't there to clear it. And he was there just to pounce on it. Right, McCule. Pass it to Vardy. Vardy then pass it to Scott. Look at that shot. No one's there. And burst a pace through and just slots it in the back of the net. It is 2-0. We're now starting to look a bit more comfortable into this game. Um, I am going to take off McCule, I think, because he's not been playing that well. And Scott's in again, and I think he's just bagged his second goal if he wasn't offside. It looked a little bit offside. No, yeah, he was offside. Right, so, sub-o'clock. McCule is not having a good game. Scott 
I was thinking about taking you off, but I'm not anymore. So bring on Matter. I'm going to bring on Matter. He's not played all season. He can he play a bit further back, Matter, and put Learning Guard on support, and then. What's so wrong about having two attacking playmakers on the on the field? Advanced playmakers, even. I don't know. We'll soon find out. So I'm playing Matter a bit further back because he's a bit older, and see what uh, Erdengard's going to be like in his favoured position. Right, Nick James. I tell you what, Nick James has done well this season as well when he's played. Right, Scott. Indeedy, Trent Alexander-Arnold. To Indeedy, to Matter, who loses out, unfortunately. But we're going to win this ball back. We are. Chris Scott's on it. Let's pass it to Erdengard, who's got himself. I think that's his first goal for the club. He's off the mark now for Leicester. I think it is as well. He should be playing in that position every game, I think. Um, he might start in that position. But Indeedy, that was a good tackle. Played it to Chris Scott. He then plays a very good pass to Erdengard. It just slots it in to the bottom corner. 3-0 against Oxford. This is how this game should be going. I like that Jamie Vardy's still on the pitch and still doing well. Hmm. Might take Ndidi off and rest him. Bring on Toussaint as the ball-winning midfielder. Because we don't really need him on the pitch anymore. Don't want to make any other subs. Not really, not at the minute. I might see if he can play as a... I'm just going to bring Mars on, see if he can play as a deep-line playmaker. He should be able to. He's a very good player. He's very out of position for him, but... So it goes, this is where we get an injury to like the goalkeeper again or something. Or Trent Alexander-Arnold. Just as I said that, it looked like Trent Alexander-Arnold. I can't speak. Trent Alexander-Arnold. Was just about to come off of an injury. Luckily, it looks like his conditioning is going back up. But he's had a good game. Nick James had a good game. I know we're against Oxford. But it's exactly the sort of game we wanted to play. Erdengard's in. Doesn't score. But Scott's on the ball. With a shot, Eastwood saves it. Scott's look very good against Oxford. Again, though, it's only Oxford. Matter. Ah, he can't get it in the back of the net. How did we not score that one? If we concede against them, I'm not going to be happy. Right, good tackle, Trent Alexander-Arnold, but can't get the second tackle in. And they shoot and it's over. Mm. 3-0, that's it. It's just going to end 3-0. Merton, Arnagal, Merton, Odengard, Jamie Vardy and Chris Scott as the scorers. It's been a very good day, I'm going to say. Jamie Vardy's pleased me a little bit, playing a full 90 minutes in his retirement season. That's his second game he's played for us. He's grabbed himself a goal. First half was a bit poor. Second half, a lot better. Well done. Good win. We're into the sixth round of the, the FA Cup. We're into the quarterfinal round. So let's uh, quickly go to the next round. Did we get any money? How much money did we get for it? Send assistant. We got... Just short of 200k. That's not going to help my debt problem. I haven't shown the finances in a while, have I? We're now failing financial fair play. And we're about a couple of million quid in debt. I'm probably going to be more and more in debt as well. So I definitely need to sell Mahrez and get some money into the club. And maybe need to sell an attacking midfielder. Because I might have too many in. But saying that, I've only got four attacking midfielders. Chilwell's coming back from injury. Yes. We have a goal disallowed. We know that. Right, who we got? Who are we going to get? Not Man United. Good. Wolves and Southampton. We'll play that game. We haven't got West Brom. We're going to get Man City. We're going to get Man City. I've called it Man City in the quarterfinal. That's just a joke. How many times do we have to play Man City? I think we played them in the Cowboy Cup. No, we didn't. We got knocked out quite early on. But we've got Man City. Let's click on them quickly and... Can we not see how many times we've our form against Man City? I don't. It's not getting to that. So we've got Man City. We've actually got a challenge for once in the FA Cup for last season. We didn't really have a challenge. If we have a look for, can I go to this season? If we have a look, so 
last season. Let's go last season. This round we played Brentford, and then the semi final we played Swansea. The final was Crystal Palace. I think who did we have in the fourth round? Birmingham. Third round is when we came in, wasn't it? Oh, we beat Man City in the third round last season. So Man City was the toughest game we had in the whole of the uh, FA Cup last season, which we managed to win. So far, it's been quite easy for us. We've had a couple of replays, which we shouldn't have had. Um, but uh, it's winnable. We know we can beat Man City. We had a bit of a an off game against them in the league. Um, a boring 1-0. Uh, Matt is injured. Lovely. One to three days. Just I'm liking these injuries at the minute. They're doing really well for the team. Really, really well. I'm just trying to get into this game as quick as possible. But I don't think it's going to be. So I'll be back in a second, guys. Just when this uh, next game loads up and we're ready to go. All right, guys, we're back. This is the team we're going to be lining up with against Cesaro. Or Ces or Cesaro? I'm going to go with that now uh, in the second leg. Um, Nick James isn't going to start. Uh, right, so Trent Alexander-Arnold. Holding, Gibson and Kazawa. Indeedy, Perez is dropped back into an attacking playmaker on support. Just to see if that makes any difference. Wilshere, the deep line playmaker. Martin Erdengard playing as an attacking playmaker. Dolberg is back from injury. He's not fully fit, but we need him, really. He is our top goal scorer with 20 goals. I oh, know he's not. 12 goals. And he actually has overtaken him. And even Evan Swift's got more in him now. Anyway, we need him to step up. This is going to be a game for him. Iniacho's partner him up front. Uh, a couple of yellow cards. Hopefully they don't pick him up or else they're going to be banned. On the bench, poor Jamie Vardy. He did play well, but he's, he's, he's come off. He's made way for uh, Santos, who is dropped onto the bench for a uh, holding. So hopefully we're at home. I'm not going to change the tactics. I'm just going to go out there and... Play a normal game, and fingers crossed we can get some sort of result. Uh, I think Matto as well, he's obviously with that injury, he's not on the bench. I'm just going to go and hopefully... We're favourites here. We are favourites, we should be winning. Right, so hopefully Dolberg can have a good game when he's come back from his injury. Perez is having a fantastic run straight from the uh, kickoff. That is good to see. 2-1 on aggregate. We've got the away goal. So we need to grab an early goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold's picked up a yellow card and they've got a corner. If they score from this corner, I'm not going to be happy. Hopefully we win it. Can we tackle them? Come on. No, not going to happen. No. And now they're on the attack. This is not good. And they're going to score. For crying out loud, it looks like we're going to be beat, knocked out. I know we're only eight minutes in, but this is not ideal. Not ideal at all. It was a good goal. And again, it's just Trent Alexander-Arnold. Oh, for God's sake. Iniacho plays it to Trent Alexander-Arnold. I don't like that he's on a yellow card so early on as well. Right, come on, find a pass to Perez, to Dolberg. Can he get a crossing? Can Iniacho score? He heads it over. So we need two goals to get to extra time, really. We need we need three and not let them score anymore. Just realised I haven't changed, put Lopez back in goal either. That's a bit of a mistake. All right, Iniacho, win the header. Indeedy, to Perez, to Erdengard, to Iniacho, to Kazawa, cross. Dolberg, again, was that a save or has he put it over? He's put it over. What is it with our strikers and not being able to finish? It's time to show some passion. Early on, Martin Erdengard, Dolberg, turns, and this time, scores. Get in, right. We've got the one goal back we need. We need another one. We've got plenty of time left in this game. We're only... 15 minutes in. It's 1-1. Hopefully. And Didi with a nice pass to Erdengard. He finds Dolberg. He just gets the ball. Turns and shoots. And he's not going to miss from there, is he? Well, saying that he just missed from four yards out, I think, with a header. Uh, and he actually picked this up. Can he's going to turn. Find Didi to uh, Erdengard. But 
doesn't happen now they're on the break now tackle them for god's sake do not let them get the numbers back they're going to score again for crying out loud so they've just broke on us and we've just let them get the numbers back and because we're on attacking we had three players still up Holdings well out of position, and then, yeah. We have a mountain to climb. And I don't know whether to drop it to control to try and... I oh, know, we need to win. We need to go on attacking. I can't even yell at them. I'm going to encourage them. Right, let's grab another goal. Dolberg... Can't get his second goal. Right, Trent Alexander-Arnold to Indeedy to Wilshire to Erdengard. Get a goal, and he's skied it. Our team is bottling it, massively bottling it. We should be winning this game at ease. Look at the state of our defence, what ratings are on. It is not ideal at all, is it? Half time. It is 2-1. They've got two away goals. I'm literally going to tear them a new one. Well... If we don't somehow manage to have a miracle comeback in this second half, I feel like we're going to be looking at the FA Cup as the only silverware. And I'm going to take off in the Acho. He's having an absolute poor game. On comes Chris Scott. He bagged a couple in the FA Cup match. Hopefully he can score a couple here. Erdengard. He's looked good, actually. At Dolberg. Yeah, I don't know. Scott is in. Come on. Oh, my God. His touch. Scott was almost in. We've had so many chances. Um, I was going to say Erdengard has actually looked pretty good in my eyes in this position and attacking. The one he likes to play. Seven rating. One of the best players on the pitch. Absolute poor, poor corner from uh, Wilshire. Scott's there. Whips the ball in. I don't know why he's not in the box, though. I need to sort that out with my uh, instructions, really. I don't understand why my strikers aren't in the box. Right, Scott out to Kazawa. Can we get another goal? Erdegaard, no, Perez, Dolberg. For crying out loud, someone score a goal. Wilshire. And we have just got another goal. Wilshire has got one back. Right. Um, Erdegaard to Wilshire. He slots it in. It's evened it up. But we still need two more goals. Because they're going to go through on away goal difference, if, even if we grab another goal. Oh. I've got no words to say. What the hell is going on? Whose fault was that? I don't know. Well, it looks like we're knocked out of this cup. Go on the attack again. I'm going to try and DD. Who's having a poor game? Gibson off. Let's play and DD as a centre back and see if that works. Son, going to go there. I don't know what else to bloody do. I really don't. Well, she's having a good game. Let's bring McCule on. Pointless now, though. Absolutely pointless, because... We need... They've just scored again. How on earth have they just scored that? 
Is it the keeper? Is it holding? Is it Trent Alexander-Arnold? Whose fault was this goal? It's the keepers. What the hell is going on? I definitely should have played Lopez in goal. Why did I not do that? Oh, this is a poor game. I can't believe we're going to get knocked out of the cup like this. 6-3 on aggregate. They're absolutely destroying us at home. What is wrong with our home form? Maybe it's because they're going to attack and they're going to grab another one now, aren't they? Five, two, seven, three on aggregate. What the holy hell is going on with this Leicester City team? Are they going to grab another goal? I should really drop it down to counter or something. Now when you want the game to crash. It'd be lovely if it did it now. I haven't saved it since the other Man City game. Don't score again. I'm going to drop it down to counter. I, can't, I don't want to concede another goal. I have nothing to say to you guys. I literally would just storm out. I wouldn't even say anything. They've just got themselves a six goal. What a goal that was. And we just haven't closed them down. I'll tell you what, if there was an option for me to just go home, not even bother seeing the team at the end of it. And I just, it's a good strike. There's no one there. Wilshere's just letting him have all the time in the world. Eight for an aggregate now, guys. Eight, three. And that's full time. And we have been... I just want to swear. What the hell was that? What the hell? I'm far from pleased with the result is an understatement. Right, guys. So this has been a very, very, very bad two episodes. We're knocked out of the first round. We receive not even half a million for getting that far. If we have a look at the expectations. Reach semi-final. That didn't work, did it? And they want us to reach the semi-final of the FA Cup. So we have to win against Man City to get some sort of board confidence, really. Um, so that's a bit poor, guys. Um, I don't know when I'm going to come back. Uh, it's probably going to be... The Man City game, maybe. Um, that's probably going to be it. It might be the Brighton Man City game or Man City West Ham game, depending on when I get a chance to record. So if you've watched this, guys, thank you very much. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think I need to change in this team. Um, maybe change of formation, change of personnel, who you think I should bring in. I don't know. But we've just had three losses. And we have been on good form. So, I don't know if it's just a blip. I hope it is. I hope we can carry on with the form in the league so we can at least start to move up. Not even move up. Just get top four, get Champions League. But on that rate, we'll get absolutely battered in the Champions League. So, back-to-back -back Europa League, maybe. I don't know. But we'll see what happens in the up-and-coming episodes. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one.